Anger, something we're all familiar with and something that happens on almost a daily basis. Let's see what the Word of God says about anger. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 26 through 27 in the Passion Translation reads, But don't let the passion of your emotions lead you to sin. Don't let anger control you or be fuel for revenge, not even for a day. Don't give slanderous, don't give the slanderous accuser, the devil, an opportunity to manipulate you. We also read in James chapter 1, verses 19 through 20, also in the Passion Translation, My dearest brothers and sisters, take this to heart. Be quick to listen, but slow to speak, and be slow to become angry. For human anger is never a legitimate tool to promote God's righteous purpose. Max Lucado defines anger as the noise of the soul, the unseen irritant of the heart, and the relentless invader of silence. God's word is a reminder for us of what anger does in the heart of people. Anger out of control leads to wickedness and lawlessness, and even sickness of the body. Everyone gets angry. It is what you do with your anger that is so important. The Bible commentator Warren Wiesberg notes, Many church fights are the result of short tempers and hasty words. There is a godly anger against sin, Ephesians 4.26. And if we love the Lord, we must hate sin, Psalm 97 verse 10. But man's anger does not produce God's righteousness. In fact, anger is just the opposite of the patience that God wants to produce in our lives as we mature in Christ, James 1, 3 to 4. And anger happens to all of us. That is what you do with your anger. Don't let anger get out of control. Don't let it become a revengeful thing in your life. And don't go to sleep angry. My prayer for you for today. Heavenly Father, I pray for the person reading this or listening to this. Lord, help us to forgive those that make us angry and offend us. Even as you, Father, forgive us when we pray and ask you. Lord God, help us to not live lives burdened and shackled by yesterday's anger, failures and disappointments, but rather that we might live constantly aware of your amazing grace and mercy toward us in Jesus' glorious and awesome name. Amen. Stay blessed and remember, forgive quickly. Pastor Paddock for Laos Leo Ministries International.